So Kima, how was the short Christmas break, mate? You all fired up and ready to go again? Oh, it was a good Christmas break, obviously. You know, being here from home, spending it with the Lima family was awesome. I um, really had a good time there, and I'm looking forward to get back on the field and performing again. How are the boys uh, treating the second half of the of the competition? Because you've had some really close losses. Do you feel like you're this close away? Yeah, it's just a matter that they're doing a 10% extra better. Obviously, you know, finishing the game, that's that's the most important thing for us. And we have some pretty good games. Um, we lose three of them out of four. But that's part of the cricket, you know. Once you live and you learn and you understand what you, what you did wrong, you can come back and be better. Those three losses all came in the last over too. How do you prepare specifically for those really tight end of the game losses, those close ones? Uh, I think it's about executing, obviously having a clear plan about what you're going to do in that last couple of overs um, and hopefully this time you kind of come out on top for this one. That's great. How do you approach the Thunder because obviously they've got Chris Gale at the top of the order and beyond that they're not playing all that well. How do you change your approach for them? Um, it's just about obviously having plans for each batsman, you know, just go out there and try to execute as good as possible. Um, they, have, they have great batsmen on, in their side. Chris Gale is a top class batsman and we're going to have to plan for him properly. It's, it's, it's very clear and you know, obviously just go out there and just back yourself and perform. And when with Chris at the top of the order, do you put your hand up and say, give me the new ball? Uh, well, I reckon I'll have him the ball regardless if he's on top of order or not, but um, it, it's, it's going to be a challenge, obviously, to bowl at Chris, but I've, I've done it a couple of times. I have, I have my own ideas and certain things, but hopefully he can go out there if he plays more and just give it the best shot and get the wicket for the thing. Can you tell me, um, maybe give, let us in on the secret? What's no, the I can't. To get him out? Can't get a secret. Can't get a secret guy. Then you will know. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. They've also got a couple of new um, signings as well. Matt Pryor's coming in, um, English keeper. He hasn't played yet. What do you expect him to to bring to the team? Oh, he's a very good batsman as well. Um, he's probably the best wicket batsman in obviously the world right now. And he's 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 a good class at. And obviously got a plan for him as well. So they have a pretty decent side. You now they have been winning. So that's probably our advantage. And we go out there and just try to continue that. Uh, of course, you probably can't afford to lose too many more games uh, down the order with only the two points. Do you go into these games with a we have to win attitude? Every game's must win. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, yeah, if I know one, every game we must win to get into the semi-finals and onto the finals. So our, our minds are very clear right now on what we need to do. So we're going to go there and just perform and bring it home. And just finally, mate, you personally, how have you enjoyed being out here for the summer? Obviously, Christmas away from home, but have you enjoyed the whole on, on the experience? Yeah, it's, it's been tough you know, on me being you know, away from home like first time in a little while. So uh, it's been good, though. I really enjoy uh, Australia. I've been in Brisbane mostly, and I love it there. It's quiet and very relaxing. So I'm having a good time in Australia.